Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from algebra. Form the polynomial equation whose roots are the squares of the roots of the following equation. x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 5 equal to 0. Roots are the squares of the roots of the following equation. So let's get started. I will demonstrate two different approaches to proceed this question. Let me write here method 1. As roots are the squares of the roots of cubic equation. So we can set y equal to x square. So from this equation I can write x will be equal to plus square root y minus square root y. Let's plug in x equal to plus square root y to our cubic equation. So I will write when x is square root y only. We will put square root y in our equation. So square root y whole cube plus 2 times square root y whole square minus square root y plus 5 equal to 0. A square root y cube is y root y plus 2 times square root y square. A square root and square will be over. We will write 2y minus root y plus 5 equal to 0. Or we can write 2y plus 5 in LHS and remaining term we will take to the RHS. So I will write a square root y minus y root y. Or we can write 2y plus 5. This will be equal to square root y is common. In the bracket we can write 1 minus y. This is when x is square root y. Now we will put x is equal to minus square root y. So I will write here x is equal to minus square root y. Let's put here. I will write minus square root y whole cube. This is x cube plus 2 times minus square root y whole square. This is 2x square minus of minus square root y plus 5 equal to 0. Or I can write minus of y root y plus 2 times y plus root y plus 5 equal to 0. So I can write 2y plus 5. This will be equal to square root y is common. We will consider y minus 1 in the bracket. So there is only one single different difference of minus sign in both the equations. So I will consider 2y plus 5 equal to square root y times y minus 1. Now I am considering squaring both sides. Here I will write power 2. This side also I will write power 2. So it doesn't matter whether we are having 1 minus y or y minus 1 over here. Now we will apply a plus b whole square formula. We will write 4y square plus 20y plus 25. This will be equal to y times y square minus 2y plus 1. Now we have to only simplify both the sides. We will write 4y square plus 20y plus 25 equal to y cube minus 2y square plus y. Now we will take all the terms to RHS and we will get our answer. y cube minus 2 minus 4 minus 6y square 1 minus 20 minus 19y and minus 25 equal to 0. This is our answer. This is the cubic equation whose roots are a square of the roots of this cubic equation. 
Now we will consider method two. Method two is using Vita's method. So from this cubic equation, if roots of the cubic equation are alpha, beta, and gamma, then we can write sum of roots alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b over a, so minus two. Sum of roots taken two at a time, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. This will be equal to c over a minus one. Product of roots alpha beta gamma minus d over a, so minus five. Now we are going to calculate alpha a square plus beta a square plus gamma a square. Then alpha a square beta a square plus beta a square gamma a square plus gamma a square alpha a square. And then we need to find out alpha a square beta a square gamma a square. These three values we are going to calculate. Out of which third one is very very simple one alpha beta gamma whole square. So square product would be minus five whole square. This will be equal to twenty five. Now our target is to find out these two unknowns. So I will write here alpha a square plus beta a square plus gamma a square. This will be equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma whole a square minus two times in the bracket alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. This is Simple algebraic formula which we know. Now we have to plug in alpha plus beta plus gamma. This is minus two, and here alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha minus one. So we will calculate alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. So I will write here alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. This will be equal to Alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square. So I will write minus two whole square. Then minus two times alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha, which is minus one. So I can write here four minus times minus becomes plus. So two. So we are getting alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. This is six. Now we have to calculate alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square. This will be equal to. I will write alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha whole square minus two times in the bracket product of these two. So I will write alpha beta square gamma plus beta gamma square alpha plus gamma alpha square beta. Now we will put all the values which we know. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is minus one. So I need to write here minus one square minus two times. Now from this bracket I can take. Alpha beta gamma common out. So I will write minus two times alpha beta gamma. Then in the bracket there would be beta plus gamma plus alpha left. Now we know that alpha beta gamma. This is minus five. Alpha plus beta plus gamma sum of roots minus two. We need to only plug in all the values. So I can write here alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square. This will be equal to minus one square minus two times alpha beta gamma, which is minus five. Then in the bracket alpha plus beta plus gamma, there we will write minus two. So I can write here one minus twenty. Value will come out negative ninety. Now I will write 
all the three equations alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square this is minus 19 and alpha square beta square gamma square this is equal to minus 5 square 25 and if I will write here alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square value then this was 6. This is what we have calculated. So cubic equation would be if I will write here x cube sum of roots. So we need to write over there minus sign 6x square. Then sum of roots taken two at a time will write minus 19x. Then here we have product of all three roots alpha square, beta square, gamma square. So I need to write minus 25 equal to 0. This is our equation and our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.